last day of a very spectacular paint job of the whole house. Still some equipment to pick up. This is cashmere. It looks so, this is the original color, but it looks so much different than what was on the house. And then this is a, a gloss white paint that John sprayed with his $1,500 sprayer and it comes out like, like perfect. I mean, you can't see a drop or a run or a, any kind of brush marks, obviously, or anything like that. So, yesterday he painted the garage doors and all he has to do now is just touch up around around the doors so did a really nice job once again he sprayed it so that there's absolutely absolutely no drips runs or errors and this used to be cashmere it should be white so he painted that white all the all the surrounding things so all of this has been sprayed then rolled uh, so it's really and it's a it's an elastomeric paint which grows and shrinks with heat and cold so this is this side hi John hey. being recorded <laughs> hey 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 okay and this is the uh, this is one of the other colors this gives you an idea. We got white colors. We got this, I don't know what it's called. It's a very pretty color. And then we got the cashmere. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch John spray the front doors. So he's still got a little bit of work to do as far as, uh, you know, he's still got some masking tape up there, painter's tape. But isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, this is really the first time I've ever had anyone paint my house. I've always done it myself. And uh, it's such a difference, so professional. A lot of little, just a lot of little things, you know, that I wouldn't normally do. And then some huge things like having that sprayer. These are all the new front columns. They're all painted up, and we actually had some some bleeding down here with uh, rust coming through and all kinds of stuff. So it looks like after this was sprayed, still got to be still got to be painted this off color. So let's be painted. So he's, he's going to finish up today, but the columns came out great. And uh, I know I've mentioned it before, but the entire lanai was painted as well. So here's the white columns and the secondary color here. And this gives you a good idea of the secondary color, the dental trim. And that's kind of a nice shot right there of the dental trim. Because I'm in the shade, you can see it better in the columns. And that's a nice shot right there. All finished painted. These, um, what's it called? This part right here was just permanently stained. It was almost almost black. Even after power wash, it was just like, just like the original. It had just been beaten up. This is kind of a big wall here. And, and surprisingly, this cashmere goes super well with the new curbing. And I raked out the stone today because a lot of it had moved, you know, from all the work they'd done around the house. But this is more of the the eaves and the cashmere and I won't go into lanai but the whole the whole lanai uh, was painted all the walls and ceilings and everything that was all part of it I'll be right back
So I'm going to keep going here, but uh, while I'm waiting for John to get set up, this is the, uh, you know, the river rock has come out really, really well. And the flax lilies are coming up nicely. I moved uh, Karen's little, little schoolgirl out to the front yard. And here's uh, the four holly trees and the big, big magnolia trees. And these are the uh, transplants that I completed that are coming out great. They're really doing well. And here's Mum's little schoolgirl. She's reading a book with a little little kitten, holding a kitten and reading a book. So that's kind of cool. So that's going to be that's going to be visible from the front yard. Actually, my sweetheart of a neighbor, uh, a lovely lady, uh, made that suggestion. Bring it out front so people can see it. And mom was fine with it, so that's what we're doing. And the walls are great. These concave and convex walls, they turned out really good. Normal cleaned up and the curbing. So the yard's in great shape. And, uh, tell me when you're ready, John. What's that? A couple minutes. A couple minutes, okay. So this is a been a big project since January getting all this done it's now May 7th tomorrow I turn 71 <laughs> but uh, I'm having a uh, my tree company who's helped me out over the last eight years get take take down trees so that other trees can grow uh, and that's the truth we've got some live oaks that are doing really well because we took some trees out but check this out this is a Probably a 70 foot pine tree. And <laughs> similar to what Mike had, Mike has this uh, ivy on his on his tree that he just cut down. But check out the size of this of this ivy uh, base here. Because what it does is it goes up the entire tree and it's populating. This is a pine tree but it's just loaded with this ivy, which unfortunately is gonna kill the tree. So this tree is coming down. Um, these are live oaks that hang over the lawn and kind of block the sun, stuff like that. And they're far away enough from the house that it's not gonna make any difference. But I'm gonna take down, or they're taking down, these two live oaks that are all kind of beat up. They're not, they're not handsome trees at all. And then a, a turkey oak tree right there. And then all the small trees that are six inches or four inches in diameter or less. Uh, they're going to take those out too. It's going to be a pretty cool because these, these four, five, and six inch trees. Uh, I'll, I'll focus on one. Like, like out there in the middle. They go up and up and up. They're over 60 feet tall already and they're only five inches at the base and then they fill out you know but this big oak tree that's behind it i want to get that some more daylight that's going to be a featured tree in the yard now and i'm going to pause again so john's going to be ready in about five minutes but uh here's another here's another tree that's once again i mean that's probably 75 feet tall uh, and that's got some ivy on it too but we'll just we'll pull the ivy off of it this tree right here that's got it's got two two uh, two tops to it those are dangerous trees so we're probably going to take that down they tend to split and damage things and then this is just kind of a, a weird growth here of various stuff that like a bunch of small small diameter stuff that's you know kind of ugly but this if you look back here that's a that's a big oak tree and i mean big i mean that's a big tree 
and it's a beautiful tree. You can see how beautiful it is. So we're gonna we're gonna highlight that in the yard now. It's gonna be uh, not on grass or anything like that, but it's gonna be kind of a highlighted tree on one side of the property. So let me give you a couple more shots of the the house, the paint on the house. New paint. It's amazing. It looks really good. So this is going to friends and family just to show them what I'm up to. This landscaping job that I did, uh, I've got about 280 hours into it. And it was a ton of work. and got through it. Uh, came out nice. The thing about doing it yourself is every day you go to bed and you sleep on it and think about new stuff and tweak it a little bit, which is what I did. Just a quick story. We have, uh, there he is, or she. We have a family of mockingbirds uh, that had babies. And as far as I can tell, they still live here in this weeping yo pine tree. Can you see that? But I think these are the babies. And I, and I think the parents have moved on, but you can see, because these guys don't sing. I, I don't think they sing all year, but always here, always here. And I sing songs to them. And this yopon tree is just perfect. It's got berries that they can eat. It's got all kinds of stuff that they can make a nest in. Yeah. Okay. All right, so John's ready to spray the door. Let's go over and, this is like this old house program. Okay, John, I'm, I know I'm gonna ask you to repeat a little bit. Just tell me about the pump once more, please, because this is going to some other folks too. Oh, sure. This is a, a, a Graco Ultima Max, it's a 490 PC Pro. Uh, it actually has, it's designed for spraying both uh, a, a, a high volume and actually a low pressure volume cool. also. Cool. What we're doing right now is we're gonna do a, a low pressure okay. uh, tip. It, and so, so we can do doors to make them nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, great. So yeah, the machine is pretty cool. It, it can do all of that. It also is Bluetooth compatible, so it hooks up to my phone that tells me the pressure and wow. everything else. Like nice, that so, nice. All right, okay. let's get the spraying. Yep, yeah, gonna look over your shoulder here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Are you saying a quart is going to be enough? And we're done. Oh, perfect. Yep. <laughs> you have to chase it a little bit with the water. I love it. And uh, yep. those are all sprayed. Actually, I've got a couple of spots here. Yeah, okay. There. Now they're all done. Very cool. So uh, you spent a lot of time prepping this door. Yes. Because that's what it's all about, right? Yes, oh. absolutely. How much time did you spend prepping it? About a half an hour. Yeah, half hour. And uh, I sanded it down, then I cleaned it off. Yep. To make sure everything was good, then I taped it off. Yep. And I also had to open the doors to tape off all of these because they took off the the rubber buffers on there. Correct. Except for the top one. The top one it didn't take off. Yep. Because it would just tear the whole thing off. Got it. It wasn't able to come off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So all the other ones, so all right. able to take off. Cool. All right. Well, not only did I get a good painter, but I made a friend here, and John, he's just, just a superhuman being guy. All right, good job, John. Thank you very much. Thank you.